can't see anything. The nearby lamp hasn't been lit. It's too dark to do anything. I think the lamp is out of oil. I can't take it with me. It's fixed in place. Razzo is a cautious guy, but I think it'll work out well. Razzo? Yes, Capitan. You do know that I'm only acting captain. Of course. But it doesn't matter. Protocols got to be observed. Hello, Sonia. Do I know you? <laughs> yes, yes, we've been friends for years. Good. Some people like to take advantage of me, you know. The inn is called the Buckleberry. That's very encouraging. It's too high to reach. Good evening, miss. Captain, if you will. Uh, it's getting very late. We're going to be closing soon. I hope my business doesn't take too long then. She looks like a no-nonsense type of woman. Hello, my name's Morgane. Good evening, and welcome to the Buckleberry. I'm Anita, the owner. Why is the inn called the Buckleberry? It's named after Buckleberry Tanner. Have you been here long? More than 20 years. But I've been running it on my own for the past six. Your husband died? Ran away. He accidentally killed a guard captain, but the guards said it was murder. What can you tell me about Buckleberry Town? He was a great explorer who settled on Crab Island before my time. He was buried over in the graveyard of the ancients. Tell me more. It must have been highly thought of because a memorial statue was erected over the grave. Can you tell me where the graveyard is? <laughs> I'm useless with directions, honey. If you had a map of the island, I could show you where it is. I'll try to find one. I heard that Uncle Eduardo was seen on this island. He stayed right here in the inn for weeks. How long ago was he here? He only left in the last couple of days, but I don't know exactly when. I see Captain was in here looking for him about the same time. Short, mean-looking guy. This is great news. Thank you. Excuse me for saying, darling, but you look familiar. Who are you? I told you, Morgane. Morgane Castillo. Ah, that makes sense. You must be Alessandro's daughter. You know my father. I knew him many years ago, before he got married. Tell him there'll be a warm welcome here any time he cares to drop in. I, I'm sure he wouldn't be interested. I 
think this is a man. It's a bit difficult to make out any details. Hello, I'm Captain Morgan. Good evening. Why don't you show your face? It is best for all concerned if I keep it hidden. Don't tell me. You've been known to scare children? I've been known to scare wolves. What's your name? I am afraid that I tell no one. It sounds like you have something to hide. Everyone has something to hide. Some of us more than others. Or you could just be crazy enough to murder us in our beds? <laughs> Perhaps that's something you'll never discover. What can you tell me about Buckleberry Tanner? Some say that he meddled with things he shouldn't have. Like the Golden Turtle. You know about the turtle? The only time people ask about Tanner is when they're looking for the Golden Turtle. I will say nothing more on the matter. Have you seen Uncle Eduardo? There's little that passes me by unnoticed. He was here in the inn for weeks. Did something happen to him? He suddenly left with a mean-looking captain I know nothing about. What do you know about Anita? She's a good woman, that one. Who else would put up with my strange ways if things were different? But let me say this. It would be best if Alessandro doesn't come near. My father doesn't take kindly to threats. But you don't want it any more than I. Do you know where to find the Graveyard of the Ancients? I never venture from the town. I have no idea where it may be. Let me guess. It must be the stage door, or a fire exit, maybe? Unless I need to leave this place unnoticed, I should use the main door. How strange! The painter has used a real hairpin in the picture. I can't remove the hairpin. It's held in place by the paint. Jackpot machine. I think it's some kind of gambling device. The instructions say that if I put a doubloon in the slot, I get a chance to win a prize. Perhaps I can get one from Papa. Why do I get the feeling that this is just the start of a long, slippery slope? I have no doubloons. There are some matchboxes in this basket. Each one has the inn's name printed on it. These matches? 
You want them? You can have them all if you like. Just one box will do. Some idiot convinced me to have them made up. But no one would buy them. Now I'm having to give them away. Eh, perhaps you'll start a new trend. She looks like a no-nonsense type of woman. Where do you want to go? Papa? Yes, Morgan. Thank you for letting me prove myself. As long as you realize that this is a serious matter. Yes, Papa. I know that the sea is a dangerous place. Then conduct this quest as if you were the captain of the Winsome Maid. I will only interfere if the ship or the crew are in danger. You can come to me at any time for advice, but the less you do, the more highly I will think of your captaincy. I need a doubloon, Papa. Here you are. Just don't use it to get drunk. <laughs> Papa created this shrine in honor of Mama. I like to look at Mama's picture, but Papa would be upset if I touched it. I have no reason to enter Briscoe's cabin. This could be interpreted in an embarrassing way. Where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> 